Uh, kind of an interesting game tonight, obviously, uh, Drummond making his debut, and then he had to leave in the third quarter. Have you had a chance to talk with him and see how he's feeling with that toe injury? Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to specifically ask him about the toe. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I pretty much answered the question. No, I hope he's all right, and uh, we look forward to getting him back at full strength whenever that is. It was a good first quarter, maybe even a first half for, for you guys. And the, the three-point shooting kind of tailed off uh, in, in a big way. What did you guys see out there from your vantage point about how this one uh, got away? Um, I mean, obviously, that's a very talented team. Uh, we played hard. We continue to fight. Um, we, you know, we're in, implementing a new guy. Uh, we're still trying to figure out, you know, how to play in it without AD and Braun while bringing on a new um but a new player who, who's a, a, going to be a focal point for our team. Uh, he goes down in the third or, you know, can't start the third quarter because of the toe. So um, it was pretty helpful skeleton all over the all over the place. But, you know, we play hard, we battle. And like I said, you know, credit them. They're a good team. We still got some good shots that we that we missed. Uh, we stayed in the fight, but uh, we came up a little bit short. Yeah, we, we didn't get to see a lot of uh, Drummond tonight. Played only 14 minutes. But from what you saw of him in practice yesterday, how much of an addition could he be for this team? I, mean, I think he can be a tremendous addition. He's a, a premier rim threat on both ends of the court. He's ridiculously athletic, you know, speed, size, um, puts pressure on the rim, uh, has a pretty high uh, basketball IQ. And uh, once he starts picking up uh, our coverages and our, our schemes offensively and we learn how to play um, alongside with him and he learns us, um, I think he's going to be, you know, the sky's the limit for us. The, the next two weeks are going to be uh, kind of a challenge. If you look at the schedule, uh, seven road games, kind of a weird trip, too. You go up to uh, Sacramento and then you come back and play a road game against the Clippers before heading out for five. How do you guys uh, string some wins together with that type of schedule? I mean, we just got to play together, stay together, play hard on the defensive end, lock in on the defensive end, and keep trust in the process of uh, making plays for each other, um, continue to find the open man, continue to shoot the ball with confidence, giving each other confidence by continuously playing the right way, even if the shot isn't falling, uh, encouraging each other, but most importantly on the defensive end, uh, stay locked in. And, uh, you know, our, our margin for error is small. You know, we don't really have one. So, you know, it's not to put pressure on us that we have to be perfect, but, you know, our, our intensity and our effort has to be um, there at all times, you know, to make up for any any possible mistakes. Thank you. All right, Dave McMenamin. Wes, I'm sorry, I, I didn't uh, catch all of your first couple of answers, so if I'm overlapping here, I apologize. But uh, did you guys get a sense of, how disappointing this this was um, for Andre to have you know, just an unfortunate misstep by by Brooke and had to deal with that and, and kind of have some of the air come out of the balloon for the debut. Uh, I'm sure I didn't have a chance to talk to him about it, nor did I see the play when it all happened. But um, I mean, it's unfortunate. You know, he, I know he brings a lot of energy and he's going to bring a lot to this team. Uh, it was tough tough that we didn't have him to the capacity that we would have liked to tonight. But I mean, Mark stepped in and was you know, a, a true professional, came in, got stops for us, um, made some plays on the defensive end that were great. And, and I mean, that's just, that's what it is. That's what it's got to be. You know, next man up, everybody with the one sole focus in mind, which is winning. Thanks. All right, we'll go over to Dan. Hey, Wes, you guys get off to such a hot start shooting and, and then go, you know, just wildly cold. Is it, is it going to have to be defense for you guys first? I, I know every team always says that, but, I mean, truly, is that going to have to be the identity in this stretch for you guys? Absolutely. It's going to be on the defensive end, on the offensive end. You know, we've got to keep trusting each other, uh, keep trusting that, you know, the law of average is going to come back to us, keep playing uh, together for each other, and, um and take care of the ball. You know, another big thing is, you know, we got to make sure that we get a field goal attempt every single time down down court. Uh, we can't um, give up possessions. And uh, but that's got to be our identity. You know, we, we look out for each other on both ends of the court and uh, we scrap, we fight. And, um, you know, we we're not content with where we're at. You know, we're continuing to learn, continue to build, continue to grow so that when we're full strength, uh, what a problem in this league. 
All right, any last questions for Wesley? All right, go ahead, Kyle, last question. Hey, sorry, Wes, uh, lost the hand function there. I, I was just wondering, what have you seen from Mark in the last couple of days? Obviously, um, he's been affected by adding Andre, and, but was ready to go in the fourth quarter. What, what sort of your observation of how he's handled the situation? I mean, that's what I expect out of everybody, you know, not just, just Mark. I mean, I've been in that situation myself. Um, that's, that's what this comes with. You know, you, you, you got to be a man about it and you've got to um, understand that you, you got to stay ready uh, regardless. Um, this is, uh, this is our job, you know, outside of being parents, this is the best job in the world, you know, in my opinion. And, um, you know, that that's what he was for us. Um, Obviously, it's not easy by any means, you know, give that man his credit. You know, we love what we do and we compete and we're, we're ultra competitors, you know, and um, that's never easy for anybody in that position. You know, it's for him to step up like he did and make the plays that he made and, and to be there and supportive of us the whole time. I mean, I ain't got nothing but respect for him. and That's how it's supposed to be. That's how it is. All right. Thank you very much, Wesley. Yep.